Hello traders, FS Pickletta here. Today is Friday, August 25th, and I'm going to be analyzing gold versus the dollar, starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame. So on the monthly gold dollar, I mean, this does look like an uptrend to me, possibly a one, two, three, four, five, but I do not think this is over. I still think this move down is a crutch into this move up, and I still think we're going to break out of these highs, go up and at least make a wave five, or maybe not even a wave five. It potentially could be a subdivision of a much larger uptrend. I still believe that gold is going to go at least to the $2,200 range and probably even a lot higher than that. So heading down to the weekly time frame is where you can see the what I believe is three ways down to a Fibonacci level. I'm not really 100% convinced that this is over yet. It definitely looks like three ways down and impulsive up. It looks like a crutch into this last move up. So if this does continue to maintain momentum and make higher highs, higher lows, we're definitely going to know that that's the end of a crutch in and that we should be continuing to look for longs on sort of time frames. So I'm definitely looking for longs right now in a ways because we do have a nice impulsive move up that does prove to me that this move down is over. It definitely could end up being an ABC crutch into this move down. Three ways up and pulse it down will tell us that and then we'll know that it's going back down. But on the other hand, I also see the possibility that this is the end of a wave C and if that's the case that it will go up. It will make pullbacks along the way but it will never break structure and it will just keep on making higher highs and higher lows telling us that we're in a new uptrend and the higher high time frame trend is back on. So let's head down to the 4 hour time frame. On the 4 hour time frame is where you can see the nice and positive move up with the break of structure. I do see the shape of a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 down right here and uh, we are bouncing off a of fib level. So I am looking for 3 way patterns down to go long for the continuation of the uptrend. If I see 3 ways down, especially on sort of time frames, I'm just going to continue to go long for the continuation of this uptrend. Like I said, it could be an ABC, go to a fib level and then go back down, or it could be a one, two, three. Either way, we're going to learn what it is while we're making money, looking for longs in an uptrend on sort of time frames. So going down to the one hour, I mean, it kind of looks like this is already over. I definitely do see three ways down. It is bouncing off to 78 and 88%, made a nice and positive move up. It could possibly be the end of a crutch and the continuation of the uptrend. I was actually originally thinking that this move up would be a crutch and then it would go down like this is an A, this is a B, and this is a C, which I still think is a pretty good possibility. So definitely be aware of that. But the, we do kind of see a... Th three waves safe there and we do see an impulsive move up at a Fibonacci level and that could be the end of a crutch and if it is then it will continue to make higher highs higher lows telling us that we better continue to look for longs on these sort of time frames. So don't forget to join my free discord group the link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.